everyone good afternoon so I thought today I would do a video while I was looking at cars on Toyota and different names of cars and what they actually mean here we see 1670s a small crown a little crown a crown garland a royal crown an ornament for the head as the style of or excuse me, not style. Style is good too, but symbol of sovereignty. Now you hear me talk a lot about sovereignty. I'm with it. I'm for sovereignty. Another one we have is the Toyota Yaris. So what is Yaris? That was the Greek goddess of beauty. Charis or Charis. I don't know Harris to say is. <laughs> and then we have the ever so popular Toyota Camry, which has a lot in common as it says here with Corolla because they both mean crown. But this one means just crown, not little crown. And it comes from the Japanese word Kanmuri. And so since they sounded similar, that's how they came up with it. And here in this beautiful picture, we have Avalon. I saved her for last. She's certainly not the least, but you know the saying, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So I guess this is kind of an as above, so below. I find it to be a fitting story since it's about the death of King Arthur. Avalon, or Insula Avalonis, the legendary island of Celtic mythology, is where, according to some sources, King Arthur's Excalibur sword was forged. It's also the place where the king was taken where, when he was wounded, and it's where, unfortunately, he met his death. In short, Avalon is supposed to be a, a utopian paradise where the legends of England's knights and political wholenesses unite in a kingdom lost in the mist of time. It's also the place where his half-sister, some say, some say his sister, the famous witch Morgana lived. And according to legends, apples grew all year round. And the first mention of this is found in the history of the kings of Britain in uh, 1136 by um, Geoffrey of Monmouth, I think it is. And it's believed to be named the Island of Apples as um, I guess in their tongue, it's supposed to be similar to the name fruit. And the island of Avalon has always been called, I'm not sure how you say that, Yinius Witrin, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how you say it, but it means island of crystal. And um, that, that's, that's easier to say. So the myth is that after the Battle of Camlin, uh, King Arthur was wounded and then he was taken by boat by nine fairy queens. I'm not going to name them all because, well, I can't remember them all, but there were nine of them. But they basically, they put him out upon a golden bed where they say that Morgana remains to this day watching over his body. There's also versions that say Arthur didn't die, but that he will return uh, back eventually to guide his people. It's also said that on the island that they produce grain, apples, and grapes by themselves year-round, and they don't need to sow them, plow them, or even cultivate them. It's also said that whoever lives in Avalon could live for as long as a hundred years, if not more. It's said that Avalon is a very magical place, a very mystical place one that symbolizes purity and abundance. And they say it's supposed to be a terrestrial utopia. And at some point of political reference of a time when rulers and their knights were brave, honest, and virtuous. Remember those days? No, I don't either. But apparently there were those days when honesty was the thing um, and harmony. So the, the harmonious bridge between the earthly and the celestial, between what is and what some would like it to be. So there are the um, intact values, 
those that we have corrupted to the point of dismantling. And then there are those that are the nine fairies that guarded King Arthur in his paradise of apples. So there's a little bit about Toyota and where some of the names come from of the models. Happy, happy learning. I don't know. Have a good one. Fuck.